Hey, it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new video. So today we're going to be talking about ending buffering. If you're having any type of trouble with your Amazon Fire Stick, you're freezing, your device is buffering, your device is not able to play any type of content, and you just have a major difficulty with it, follow these steps that I'm going to go ahead and give you today. So I'm going to give you several steps that you can use today, right now, to speed up your Amazon Fire Stick to end buffering. The first step that we want to go ahead and do is straightforward. The only thing that we need is our remote in our hand, the Fire Stick remote. It'll work with any remote you have. So this is the second gen or third gen Fire Stick remote. Some of them are newer and they have multiple different buttons, but it'll work on any remote that you have. So the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is just hold down your select button and then hold down the play button and that'll restart your Amazon Fire Stick. So that'll restart our device. So let's hold down those buttons for five seconds. As you can see, it says your Fire Stick is shutting down and we'll give it a moment. And as you can see, the Fire Stick is booting back up now. We have confirmed that we have restarted our Amazon Fire Stick. So if you're restarting your device and you're landing back on your home screen, you should notice that your device should be very much more responsive than what it was before. So for step number two, we're gonna go ahead and go to the left, go down to search, and we're gonna search for an app. So we're gonna go ahead and type in B, A, C, and we're gonna go down to background apps and process list. Click on background apps and process list. You want to go over to the left and make sure you're hovered over apps and games, background apps and process list. Click on that app. You'll see here, this is a background apps processing list. What this app does is allow you to force close apps that are running in the background. So if you have, sometimes you have 10 or 20 or 30, especially if you haven't done this in about a week or a month, you'll see a lot of apps start to build up in here and then bog down your Amazon Fire Stick. So let's go ahead and click on download. And once that's done, we'll go ahead and click on open. All right, so once you open up background apps and processing list for the first time, this is what you'll see. Basically, this is a box that's gonna ask you, do you want this app to boot up every time you restart your Amazon Fire Stick? Or do you just want it to open up whenever you need to use it? I normally just use it manually whenever I need to use it. I, so I don't bother with turning that on on boot. So I go down here. Go just go down and go to the bottom left hand corner where it says got it and that message will go away all right so this is where you'll see the apps that are running in the background it's just a dark screen and you'll see about three apps here that i can count that are running in the background on my fire stick device but if yours is running and you haven't run this in about a week or a month or you know however long it's been you'll see about like 10 or 20 or 30 or however many apps that you've opened since you've last done this or you know done any type of cleanup on the amazon fire sticks all right so let me show you how to use this so basically it's very quick all we have to do is click on each app one by one go down click on force stop click the back button click on each app you just click the center button and then go down to force stop and click. Click your back button one time and then it takes you back to the app to clear the rest of the apps that are running in the background. So I'm gonna click on VIX, which is the last app. Click on force stop, click on back. So once you've cleared out everything, you will see where it says no apps running in the background. And if you wanna confirm, just click on the top left hand corner and click on refresh and it confirms it refreshed and there are no apps running in the background so so definitely keep in mind how many apps you have running in the background and if you don't remember just open this app background apps and processing list come in here close all your apps and make sure your device is running at good download speed and good device speed so that is the second way that you can speed up your device to end buffering so let's go ahead and jump over to the third step so the third step we're going to go ahead and go to the settings we're going to head to settings Go down, go over to network, click on network. And in here on network, we just wanna go ahead and click on our play button once we have hovered over the Wi-Fi that we're connected to. And in here, you'll see this fancy new download speed section. So we can click on run speed test, click on run speed test in the top right hand corner. You'll see the network speed start spinning and it'll pop out and it'll give us a reading on what our download speed is. So. Keep in mind on this reading and you want to compare it to what the streaming requirements are on these streaming platforms that you connect to. So like Netflix, Tubi, Pluto, uh, whichever app or streaming service that you 
connect to, you want to make sure that it does meet these minimum requirements for the megabits per second. So my internet speed in the top right hand corner, 177 megabits per second. So down in the bottom here, it says recommendations based on your latest speed test results, your internet speed can support up to 1080p video quality without interruptions. So this gives us a good comparison, especially when we're trying to narrow things down on if our device is just running slow or if the internet has a major factor on slowing the internet speed or streaming quality way down. So you want to make sure that you are above or at least, you know, above 50 megabits per second just to confirm, you know, that you are meeting the minimum requirement and you have a little bit extra, you know, to give you that extra quality streaming experience. So definitely keep in mind on your internet speed. That's one good place to go just to compare, you know, what type of quality or service that you should be experiencing. So the fourth step I do want to touch on is in your settings as well. So let's go over to the settings. Go down. Let's go over to the preferences. Once you're hovered over preferences, click on preferences. Go down to feature content here. Click on feature content. You want to make sure both of these are turned off, mainly because these are the big banners on the main home screen on the Amazon Fire Stick. If you don't have these turned off, then those are going to run on the home screen, which is going to take away internet speed because those are going to stream in HD video and HD audio. So keep that in mind. So we just want to go ahead and make sure they both are turned off. And that's another way to decrease any type of video or audio that doesn't need to play in the background to make sure that we're definitely running at 100 percent speed on the apps that you want it to run on so the fifth step if everything is still not working and you really want to just drill down to see why is this not working what's going on there's a final hail mary that i got for you go to the left hand side and go to the find section go down to search click on search so we typed in DEVE, which will give us the developer option settings. That's what we're looking for. So we want to go ahead and go down to developer tools menu. It's the second search result down below. Click on developer tools menu and you'll see this app here, which says developer tools menu. And there is a shortcut to the right of that. So we're just going to click on this one. We'll use the shortcut so either one of those apps will work but i want to go ahead and download the shortcut version so i'm clicking on download just give it a moment to load all right so once you've confirmed it says download tool let's go ahead and open this up so this is the developer tools menu it's confirmed and downloaded i'm gonna go ahead and click on open this will give us an additional menu where we can analyze our device a little bit more in depth so you'll see this where it says system x-ray off you want to click on the select button and turn it on so just hover over that once you turn it on you'll get a good in-depth section on what's going on with your Amazon Fire Stick so on the top left hand corner you'll see 1080p and then you'll see directly to the right of that 59.93 that's your frames per second so keep that in mind and then to the right of that you have your memory section where it says app and then other and then available that's just telling you the memory allocation so your ram how fast your device is performing and how much availability you have before your device doesn't have any available storage space left all right so the last step that i have for you is we're going to make our way over to the settings as well we're going to hover over settings go down to my fire tv click on my fire tv and you want to hover over where it says about click on about and you'll see the version of the fire stick that you're on and as long as you're on 7.2.8 i believe that's the latest version but you want to go ahead and go down to check for updates just in case and you want to make sure that you're getting all the latest updates and also this will minimize on bugs or any type of slowness on your device to make sure everything is up to date so let's go ahead and click on check for updates so i went ahead and checked for updates and it says your fire tv is up to date but every now and then you will click on that check for updates and there will be an additional install for you to download and take advantage of so definitely keep that in mind but this should definitely help you with experiencing any type of slowness or buffering on your amazon fire stick hopefully it gave you a little bit more insight on what's going on with your device if you're experiencing any type of issues but definitely refer to this at least weekly or monthly that way your device is always running at decent speed to give you that best quality experience so definitely keep this in mind give it a like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one
Peace.